what's up guys, Brandon here from the new Cloud Gage Gaming, and today we're going to be starting a new series called the What's Up With series. So, for the first episode, um, what's up with Hyrule Warriors versus Fire Emblem Warriors? And yes, I know there's gameplay of Sonic Mania, but currently my phone is broken, and plus I wouldn't want to do a video of possibly a longer length on my phone because, you know, uh, and plus, Sonic Mania is a good game I can play and not get frustrated, or just generally just comment on it in general. So anyway, um, just getting that out of the way, most times the gameplay will be Sonic Mania, just so you know. Um, so basically, starting off, Hyrule Warriors versus uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. It's, it, it's a very weird um, kind of... Uh, What's it called? Comparison? Because no one really talks about uh, both these games much. They're not really... I mean, Hyrule Warriors was pretty big because it was like the only Zelda game on the Wii U for a really long time. And then uh, like about two, two or three years. I can't remember the specific date. It was either 2014 or 2015. But I remember I have a history with Hyrule Warriors and like Fire Emblem Warriors. Um, so I started playing Hyrule Warriors basically pretty soon when it came out. I was super excited because I really, at that point, um, with Zelda, I really only played, like, I think Wind Waker HD a little bit, and, um, A Link Between Worlds. Excellent game, by the way, A Link Between Worlds. Uh, you should definitely check it out. Um, but, yeah, so... You had super excited because it was like, oh yeah, Zelda, a new Zelda game, and it looks really cool. So, like, yeah, would love to have something like that. So, you know, I got it, I played it, I liked it, and then I sold it. And I couldn't remember why. So, with Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, coming out fairly, fairly, uh, like, a few weeks ago, I think, they had a demo of it, um, on the Switch thing in, like, Best Buy, so I played it, and I realized why I sold the game. It is way too simple and easy. It's just, no, I, I don't like games that are super simple and easy like that is. Like, I couldn't even get any combos going, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong, or I just suck at it, or something, but it's just that, like, I couldn't do anything besides have, besides normal attack, Y and X attacks. I'll call it that. And I just was like, so that's why I sold the game. So, on the other hand, I have not um, played that much of Fire Emblem Warriors. It's been more of a, uh, kind of like, I played it at the stores, and that was really it, so, you know, not really much in terms of, uh, memories or really anything in, on that game, but, what, uh, what really got me with, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors was how complex it was compared to, uh, let's say, Hyrule Warriors, because it's just like it has different things, you have to do lots of different things at lots of different times, and all this stuff is just so, oh crap, that's just so complex compared to anything that I regularly played before, um, and I was just like, wow, wasn't Hyrule Warriors like this? And you know, I don't play Fire Emblem, I don't really care for it. In fact, the only RPG I really like is Undertale, but that's its own, that's its really own kind of RPG. Because it's so unique and different, you know. So really, when it came down to it, I didn't know any of the characters from Fire Emblem, I didn't care about the story, I had no, no connection to the Fire Emblem series at all, basically. I, I just knew Marth from Super, I, I just knew Marth from Smash 4, that was it. <laughs> Honestly, that's that's all I knew. So when I finally when I played it, I didn't know Jack squad about the world and the characters and I couldn't tell who these people were and then 
I was like, just like, whoa, <laughs> I don't know anything about this. And then when I played the game, I, I picked the, the one character they make you play as, and then I and then I played it, and like, I did really well, and the, it had you do so many different things at the same time, and that's really good for me because they didn't have you doing the same thing in Hyrule Warriors, at least, um, at the beginning part, and I was actually really impressed by how deep the game was. Uh, and it was actually the first time. <laughs> it actually really took me by surprise how deep it was, and it really, uh, messed with me because I was like, crap, I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to play this game at all, because, you know, I hadn't played it before, I hadn't, at least I hadn't played a Dynasty Warriors in quite a while, but I was getting back into it, I was, I was getting back into the mood of Dynasty Warriors games, or at least Nintendo themed Dynasty Warriors games. And... <laughs> and you know, it was really good. You know, so... When I... When the Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition came out, I really played it and I was like, well, let's see how this compares to the amazing experience I had with Fire Emblem Warriors. And I had the same experience I had years ago in, like, 2014 slash 2015. I can't remember, so don't hate me if I got the date wrong. Um, but, you know, I, I just was like, wow, this is a very simple game. There's, like, nothing you can do. Heck, there was more combos with the basic sword than with, like, the fire rod. The fire rod! And, you know, I was just like, whoa. Okay. Okay, then. Let's just not play this game. So I didn't. I didn't play the game at all. I just stopped it all and, uh, went back to, uh, playing that weird Sushido game that, uh, you really, uh, have to understand that it's just going to be weird the whole time to enjoy. But, really, I just, the whole, the whole thing was, um, just crazy. I didn't, I didn't like it. I, I was just like, wow, Fire Emblem Warriors is so much better than this. And, you know, some people it would be like, oh, it's just the same Dynasty Warriors thing over and over again. I, I would have to disagree with you. It, it, it's very different, Hyrule Warriors is. Y you really have to know... Um, you really have to know what you're, uh, what you're getting into when you do it. You really have to know that you're going to, uh, prob probably fail on Fire Emblem, but on Hyrule Warriors, it's so easy, it's actually a little bit boring. And I swear, I don't know if it's, if they, like, make you level 10 or something, because I swear it's you're, you're so powerful. Like, even the big boss, even the, uh, like, the outpost leaders don't stand a chance against you. Just, like, at all. And I kind of find that a little, like, really? Really? So, yeah, that's, that's what I thought when I found that out. So, now we get on to the comparison part of this video, I guess. So, how do these two games compare? Well, for me, I think you can already understand that I really like uh, Fire Emblem Warriors much better, and it would be hard to convince me otherwise. Just because I've just... Mm, I, I played both games. I decided which one I like better. Oh well. If you like, uh, if you like one, if you like Hyrule Warriors more, cool, great for you, but for me, I would like the more strategic, uh, thinking game more than the just, you know, it's so easy, just go mad, and it's not even just go mad in Hyrule Warriors, it's just like, oh, you, you do the game. Yeah, that's just, 
what I'm gonna leave it at for that. It's not really... I, I'm not saying Hyrule Warriors is a bad game. I'm just saying it's not the type of game I would like. From playing two Dynasty Warriors games, Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors, they're not even really Dynasty Warriors games. Heck, I haven't played any of the main Dynasty Warriors games, and I don't really care that much, because if they're like Hyrule Warriors, I don't want to play them, but if they're like Fire Emblem Warriors, yeah, I, wanna, I would like to give them a try. But that's the problem, I don't know, and I thought, I had the same thoughts about, um, What's it called? I have the same thoughts about, uh, Hyrule Warriors that I now have about Fire Emblem Warriors when I first played that. It was like, wow, this game is so complex, you know, all that stuff. And now it's just like, well, crap, this game is, this game kind of blows. But, you know, that's just, that's just how it kind of goes. You know, you have a better game than the other one, and you know, when you're young, or at least not young, but more like, um, when you're more, uh, when you're more just like, kind of like, wanting to pack and slash stuff a bunch, like I kind of was, like, if I really just wanted an escape, like, just, just to think like a power fantasy game, Hyrule Warriors is the one for you, but, um, otherwise, yeah. Play, uh, play and stick with, um, start, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors if you're not that kind of person. Because really, it just kind of goes back to which, which style of Dynasty Warriors do you like better, the kind of just don't think, don't, don't think, just go, or, uh, the more tactical, like, alright, what do I do next? Here's how we do it. Kind of one. Because but Fire Emblem Warriors, like, from the demo I played, so many things happen. You get, like, two bosses off the screen at one point, and I know it's not the first level, like, they give you in Hyrule Warriors, but I think it's close to it. Or if it's near the end, it's a way too easy a game. <laughs> but you can you guys should get where I'm coming from with this so far. And, you know, so, yeah. Um, that's it. What's up with Hyrule Warriors versus Fire Emblem Warriors? And, that's it. So, next time, we will be talking, we will be asking, what is up with Sony Crossplay? And, since I play on PS4, you guys should probably already know my stance on that a little bit, but no matter. I have a more complicated opinion than just Sony is amazing and they just deserve all the praise they ever get and stuff like that. So, see you next time on What's Up With. Also, yes, I know I stole that from Peter Kinetter, but it's a cool name and I think it suits my, uh, my series better because I'm asking Actually, for most videos, I will be asking, hey, what's up with this specific thing? Like, what's up with Sony Crossplay? And stuff like that. So, yeah, I guess that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. But this is Brandon from Big McGuire Gaming, signing out. Goodbye!